Hi everyone! You thought I was going to say welcome back, didn't you? It's OG here! You can see what we're playing, I don't have to tell you. Guess who's got a mission for us? I have! Today's mission is not exactly well defined. Well, not, not entirely. It's sort of well defined. Why am I in space? I, I'm not supposed to be in space. This is confusing. No idea what happened there. Still learning. Clearly. I have played a little more. I played under my test account. And... I got to the moon. And then I crashed. I'm still having problems getting my rockets to separate. They just don't want to do it. And then I got to the moon in midday. And the closer I got to the surface of the moon, the darker it got. By the time I landed, it was pitch black. So dark, I couldn't see how many stages were left on my rocket. So I can't really tell you how the landing went other than that it didn't go well. Um, I don't know how many stages crashed and I think that's why I crashed. So I've given some feedback to the devs. Hopefully they can sort that out. Because you kind of need to see the moon when you're landing on it. Especially if it is... Well I, wouldn't, I won't say midday. Seeing as how lunar days work. Though it's not our moon, so I don't really know how it rotates, whatever. But it was what should have been midday. And it was pitch black. Okay, enough about the stupid moon. Today's mission is build a rocket. And this particular rocket needs to have a lot of engines. I'm going to see what I can do to the frame rate with lots of engines. And as you may have noticed, I've got a new color scheme going. OG color scheme. Big surprise. Sit back, relax, and let's see what I can build. I'm just taking a look at some construction options. Things I might be able to use to extend the footprint of my rocket, so to speak. This could be interesting. I'm now trying to see if I can attach something to the outer end of a wing and the answer to that appears to be no. So I can attach it to a stabilizer. That gives me options. Okay, so write this down. Wings and control surfaces you cannot attach things to. But stabilizers you can attach things to. I need to remind myself that I'm trying to put many engines on this rocket and not necessarily big engines. Small would be better. Oh, engine plates are now engine mounts. And I don't know where they hide them. I found where they hide them. Strassers. No, that's a stupid place to put them. Developers. Come on. Structures. No. 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 Come right, guys. Come right. Now, my initial thought is that 8 times symmetry would be optimal. Because then I can fit lots of little engines. But 
that's not necessarily true. I want to be able to put 16 engines in. But if I can't do that, maybe I could use like a 5 Is there a 5 times symmetry? Oh, there isn't. Well, that's upsetting. I thought maybe I could do 10 engines. But uh, I think I can do 16, so it's a moot point. I can't get a good angle, which is annoying. I know there is a way to get one. I'm holding ALT now. I don't know what that's doing exactly. Ruining things. That's what it's doing. Oh, it lines it up underneath. That's quite useful. Okay, but I don't want that. I can turn snap off, but I'm trying to get it so it just allows me smaller increments. In KSP1, the shift key used to do that. But now I'm going to have to eyeball it. And as much as I love eyeballing things, uh, it's not something I love to do in placing engines. I think because these are so close together allowing them to gimbal might be bad ah! I've pushed funny things and now things are bad Oh. I'm lost somewhere in the undo redo queue. That is not right. I really don't like these arrows. They're super hard to use and unfriendly to people like me who are colorblind. This is beginning to look a bit like Starship. I am not trying to be SpaceX, I promise. Ooh, how about an aero spike in the middle, just because I can. Okay, so what are we on? 8 times 3 plus 1. That's 25. Before things get silly, maybe I should just test this quickly. See what happens. Unlike my last video, I will check the staging first. This is unstable. Oh yes, there goes the frame rate. Oh yes, this is Kerbals how I enjoy it. This is the Kerbling I remember. <laughs> oh, spectacular.
I should have perhaps checked the thrust to weight prior to launching. Oh, that was glorious. That was so Kerbal. When it started swiveling around on the pad like that and I just had to get it into the air and skip the countdown and put the thrust up to maximum. Not that it really got into the air. Ah, uh, engineering report. Yeah, that's what I should have read earlier. So basically, what's happening here is that this rocket is demanding more boosters or more engines in general. Who am I to deny the rocket what it needs? I'm just thinking quickly about how I'm going to do this and I have a plan. So my plan is to try and mount six more copies of this rocket around this rocket. Not exact copies, just copy-ish copies. The fact that this thing has slowed down so much is a great sign. struggling. Perhaps it's frozen. Well, if the frame rate struggled with my last rocket, <laughs> frame rate, now you're going to die. This is just the liquid rockets. I still intended to put SRBs around this thing. But right now, I don't know if my processor can handle it. Oh boy. Merely hovering over this thing with a nose cone is freezing it. I'll just wait patiently. I need to find those little clips that everyone puts in their videos that says... that say something like... An eternity later. I'll just have to do my own. Uh, those don't fit, but I don't care. I'm probably not going to make it off the launch pad anyway, so that's my rocket. I just realized something that's not going to improve my thrust to weight ratio. I haven't improved it at all. I've made it worse. No, I haven't made it worse. I, just, I haven't improved it. killing me dude you're killing me um, I always have another idea except for when I don't but that's very rarely but right now I do Loaded ghost nose cones onto my rocket. How 
many engines do I have now? I have 25. Yes, 25. And now I've done 25 times 6, that's another 150. So I have 175. Okay. I'm beginning to see why this is slow. Right. 175 engines. Let's go. I am not expecting much from the frame rate. In fact, if you'll bear with me, I think I'll turn the frame rates on. And if you won't bear with me, then go away because I'm turning the frame rate on. Oh, oh, hang on, wait, wait, things are happening. Back up, back up. Oh. Oh no. I guess steel girders are not the way to attach large rockets to each other. Just going out in a limb here and guessing. Tell you what. Let's see what happens if we try to launch it. There's a whole lot of nothing happening. I don't think the booster one's fired. Only the central rocket is running. It's obviously still too heavy to fly. I really need to find a thrust to weight ratio. Here we fall again. In theory, this rocket would take off if it just stood there long enough because the fuel tanks would empty and it would get lighter. In practice, it's about to explode. To the drawing board. I'd like to say I'm close, but that's not really true. Show FPS. Okay. Let's try something else. One more. One more. No guaranteed flight today, just guaranteed lots of engines. And I think I've delivered with that. We did crash the frame rate, which was kind of the point. We have confirmed that engines equals low frame rate. This is taking longer to load than it normally does. Okay, so no construction materials for buildings. 
no big iron girders. Bye bye. Okay. I have another plan. Since I can't seem to deconstruct this rocket without it coming apart, I'm just going to construct it more. And the way to do that is with struts. If it's falling apart, We know what is what, and we don't know what is what, we just strut. What the? We'll just ignore the fact that the strut is nowhere near my mouse cursor. Yeah. Now you've messed with the wrong guy. OG knows how to strut. Let's not mess around. Let's launch again. Now in KSP1 I'm used to getting to the pad and seeing my rocket exploding while it's still loading in. Perhaps we can achieve that here too. Ooh. I don't think I should hang around. I think we should get going. Skip the countdown, skip the countdown, let's go! Where's my frame rate? Maybe I don't have one. <laughs> no frames, no frame rate. Oh, this is so beautifully Kerbal. Oh, yes! Go up. Just go up. Unsurprisingly, it's not listening to mouse clicks right now. I may have got a new graphics card, but I don't have a new processor. This is still first gen Ryzen. What else to eat? We lifted off. We have lifted off. We have speed and we have altitude. I don't quite remember what the altitude was on the pad, but I saw it go from 36 to 37, so we are definitely launched. I 
would love to time warp this, but that's probably not going to happen. Show FPS is on. So what we've done today is to confirm beyond a reasonable doubt that adding engines really kills the frame rate. And that is my first successful mission in KSP2 so far. I hope to have a few others. Preferably ones where my rockets don't explode or end in death. Because let's face this, this rocket is going to explode or end in death. I'm just going to leave it running now for a while and see if anything can get anywhere, but I'm probably going to have to stop it. Because this could take a few days. Right, we've reached 50 meters of altitude. I'm calling that a win. There's no point in letting this thing run on any further. So I'll try and give you a nice visual. But I can't zoom. Thank you for joining me. I hope this was... Oh, look, I zoomed out. I hope this was educational. And I hope to see you again soon for more KSP Madness and I think I can confirm it will be with vehicles that have slightly fewer engines. OG out.